Hello everyone. Today we will talk about dividend. Dividend paid by company and its impact on value of share. Under relevance theory of dividend, today we will discuss about Walters model and we will explain Walters model with the help of an example. In this example, rate of return is 15%, cost of equity 10%, EPS 20 rupees per share. Using Walter model, calculate the effect of dividend payment on the value of share under different dividend payout ratio. Dividend payout ratio may be 0%, 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, or 100%. Market price of share as per Walter model can be calculated using formula price equals to dividend plus rate of return divided by cost of equity multiplied by earning per share minus dividend paid whole divided by cost of equity. So first of all, we'll find out what's the dividend payout ratio. Dividend payout ratio is equal 0%. It may be 0, it may be 20, it may be 40, 60, 80 or 100%. So we'll now use drop down. For this, we'll go to data, we'll go to data validation and now here we choose a list and the list sources D7 to I7 and press OK. Now dividend paid. Dividend paid is earning per share multiplied by dividend payout ratio. Now we can check this if it is 20% so it is 20% of 20, 4 rupees. If it is 40%, so it is 40% of 20 rupees is 8 rupees and so on. Now to calculate price of share, we'll use formula equal dividend plus rate of return divided by cost of equity whole multiplied by earning per share minus dividend and whole divided by cost of equity and when we calculate this answer will be 300. Now check in this case R is more than K. So when if we pay no dividend amount of share is 300 and if we pay 20% dividend the price start decreasing is now 280 if we say 40% the price is 260 if we pay 60% the price is 240 and if we pay 80% price is 220 and if we pay 100% the price is 200 this implies if r is more than ke if we pay more and more dividend the price of the share will decrease now instead of 15% if we take 10% or 8% see here if r is either 10 15% or 10% or 8% so again i'm going to data i'm going to data validation and now i click here and i will go for list and i will choose the source here source is k3 to k5 and press OK. Now I'm changing this. Now change to 10%. Now check this. If it is 10%, this implies if R is equal to K, if we pay 100% dividend, or we pay 0% dividend, or we pay any level of dividend, the price of share remain constant. No change in the price of share. Now the next case. If R is less than k i'm taking eight percent and now check if we say dividend payout ratio is zero percent price of share is 160 if it is 20 percent price is 168 if it is 40 percent price is 176 if it is 60 percent price is 184 if it is 80 percent price is 192 and if it is 100 percent price is 200 this implies if R is less than K, if we pay more and more dividend, the value of the price is higher, right? 
if we pay less dividend, the value share is decreased. This implies, in this case, if we pay 100% dividend, price is 200, but if we pay low dividend, the price share will decrease. So we can come to the conclusion, when R is more than K, then dividend payout ratio should be 0%. If R is equal to K, dividend payout ratio is anything, it doesn't make any impact on the price of the share. If R is less than K, the dividend payout ratio should be 100%. Hope it is helpful. Thank you.